Hey, podcast listeners, Joe C here. Are you digging all the music talk and want to see what my band, The Fallen Electric, has in store? Check us out at thefallenelectric.com for all news, show dates, and contact information. Also, be sure to listen to our album, Never Seen the World, available on all digital music stores and streaming apps. It's time to get electrified. Let's just go and waste some time. Filthy Martini Studios in Ontario, California. It's the Food Bar Show. Hey, what is up, everybody? I am Joe C. And thank you all for listening to the Food Bar Show. Thank you for downloading the pod and most of the podcast apps, subscribing, and telling a friend like a trick. You can always reach us at Food Bar Show. That's FWBarShow.com. And FWBarShow is our handle on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out, drop us a line, and we'll fill it up like a couple of foos. Ain't that right, foo? Sifu. Yeah. What? What's, why are you looking at me all weird like over there, foo? How do you know how I'm looking all oh, weird like? Geez. So on tap today, we have the foo <laughs> and, and Steph. Hi. Say, say hi, guys. What's Hello, up, my guys? Dudes? Yeah. So we're Take doing it. this all over again. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we're I gluttons so. for fucking punishment. Of course. Of so course. the foo is wearing a surgical mask. Reasons unknown, really. Yeah. I, well, I was doing surgery in space. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. New profession? <laughs> no, just hobby. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice to know. Good enough for Just me. in case I ever need an emergency surgery. Actually, you know what? No, I don't need an emergency <laughs> surgery from you. I think we'll I think not. So, um... I understand, Foo, that you've recently uh, have been granted an opportunity to take part in another woes of online dating. Oh, granted! Oh, so special. Oh, yeah, I mean, my, you, or, or would you just admit to that you bring it on yourself at this point? <laughs> no, no, no. The, you know you what? Just this, <laughs> this this time. I followed all all the be- mistakes from last you time. Had the all I course corrected them, dude. <laughs> he was in your breast cr- pocket yeah. all night long. Okay, He's step just, one. I think we're good. I think we're good. So dude, all right, my, well, let, I, hang on. Let me intro the woes of online dating. <laughs> all right, go ahead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> my luck, man, it's just, it's terrible. Uh... So it happened. So listen, and I, I'm telling you, I followed all the all the rules that of where I went astray last right. time. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so clarify, so, how did you follow the so, rules? Like, what? so I met someone on one of these dating apps. Okay, one of these trustworthy dating apps. Was it uh, plenty of fish? No, man, I ain't gonna tell you any of that. Uh, oh, oh, okay. right. oh um, you're going the so Nelson Craigslist. route. <laughs> yeah, I'm going the Nelson route. <laughs> <laughs> Casual right. encounters. Well, you can, no, you can't. You can't do that on Craigslist anymore. They took oh really? Out. Oh, what? yeah. I wouldn't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's cold yeah. reading the local news, man. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. <laughs> well, isn't his face red? So what? Oh, yeah. So yeah, what happened? You should be embarrassed. Well, I uh, started talking to this nice lady who I met online, and then she was a lady. She was a lady. Okay. okay. I even was like, okay, I want to talk to you on the phone. Talk to her on the phone. Uh huh. Sounded. Sounded like a lady to me. <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure she was. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, she sent me pictures and she gave me her Snapchat. She looked oh, okay. the same on her Snapchat. Okay. Okay. So There's now, two corroborating uh, Yeah. Now it's like, okay, well, this resources. is... Resources. Yeah. Okay. So I was just like, cool. Well, let's you know, hang out Friday. And I was ready. And she's like, okay, well, let's meet up around this time. Don't hear a thing from her. Because uh, it's supposed to be at 6.30. It's like 8.30 now. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. And nothing? Nothing. And then she's just like, hey, I'm ready. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. Give me your address. She gives me your address, and I'm like, all signs point to me going out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. I and think then, I, yeah, I think I'd feel the same thing. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm just like, cool, I'm on the way. She's in, on- she's in Ontario. Okay. Okay. So you're close oh, to the A local girl. Yeah, I was going to hit you up after for some dab skis. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to call it quite the evening. Okay. It was going to be a stab and then dab. Stab and dab food. The stab and dab food. <laughs> the stab and dab. The stab and dabber. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> Trademark food. <laughs> Trademark food. And you know what food? Pen pending. She, pen pending. She, <laughs> and you know food? She, TM. Jesus. Okay, she, o- she offered the opportunity for a stabbing. Oh, okay. 
Are we still talking about fucking? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah what, I what, hope so. <laughs> it could have gotten dark. <laughs> well, you do live close quick. to Holt, so I'm just uh, saying. Just go, continue. Well, then she's just like, <laughs> she's just like, let me get a hundred bucks. What? <laughs> Dude. And I'm just like, are you serious? I'm like, let's just go out. Like, I'll spend like 200 bucks. Yeah. She's like, no, I just, I just want the money. She's like, I'll still let you smash. I was just like, didn't you pay her? No. Ah. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't pay for that. Yeah, man, I was busting the credit card out. <laughs> oh. I was going to earn points for my purchases. <laughs> yeah, dude. You still could earn points, Foo. She, does she have Square? <laughs> square <laughs> cash? <laughs> square cash, bro. No, she oh, uh, she's a bougie. No, uh, something called a cash app or something. Yeah. Oh, that's what she had? Yeah, a cash app. Ah, oh, dude. So I'm just like, I've never heard of this thing, so I'm not down. And I was just like, nah, I'm good. Wait, weren't you and just asking us about cash app while we were out there right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't join cash app. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was right. just checking it out. Okay. Because I was trying to see what sources, they asked man. for. So how much did you pay her? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a five dollar handy, man. Okay. That's all it was. Five Not even five handy. dollar handy. <laughs> just go to Starbucks. You know? Just go to Starbucks real quick and then put the foam on myself. Juice no. fresh. <laughs> oh. Gross. Yeah, man. So I Dude. declined. I declined. I was just like, "Fuck this bitch," and then right. Like you reported couple, her. Like two hours later, like she took me off her Snapchat. Ah. Well, yeah, because you didn't give her money. Yeah, you didn't pay for it, so Look you up. don't get it. Look, no. I'm a hardworking girl. I just need to get paid. <laughs> She's a hardworking girl laying on her back. Yeah, it's no. hard work, man. Apparently, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so, which brings me to a different point, Foo. Okay, I've been seeming to run into this scenario <laughs> a lot. Okay. Right? Yeah, apparently, man. Why don't you, you just go to a place and meet a nice lady, like at a bar or something? The worst that can happen is that like she's a double agent. <laughs> and, Dude, then, what? and then, like, no, I mean, like, you know, like a, a James cop? Bond type of situation or a cop or, or a Russian. Dang. Dude, what Russian if I met a cop? Just start what dressing. if I met a cop at a bar? That'd be fucking weird. Yeah. Just start dressing really sharp from now on when you go out. And, you know, you'll attract all the pretty ladies. Always wear I just your have suit. to keep cutting my hair as well. Always wear your yeah, suit. Yeah, pretty much. And groom your beard and, and such. Be like Barney, dude, suit up. <laughs> yeah, which, yeah. Which, actually, Fu, I got some beard oil, which is amazing. I'll tell you about later. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, so are actually, they not a sponsor yet? They're not a sponsor okay. yet. We're right. gonna buy them, Fu. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I was trying to go with this is that this is also a pretty common theme on a lot of these apps. Right. Like, chicks are like, "Hey, I'll send you like fucking like a bunch of nudes for like twenty bucks, like some straight." Some straight up on their like Snapchat or like send me money and I'll send you like videos or pics or whatever. Dang. So yeah. there's a lot of these sugar babies out here, foo. You know what a sugar baby is? Oh, yes. Uh yeah, it's it's the pretty much like sugar it's, daddy has a sugar baby. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know what should you know this? Yeah, this pretty one? much they adopt their little protege and they give them everything. Mm-hmm. Well right? there's some there's some weird ones, but you know, the ones on these dating apps are just like just hoes, man. Just a bunch of hoes and whores and yeah, I've, I've ran into a few of those. Just I just ignore them. Like you can even see them. Like uh, I saw one said uh, "ask me" and the other one said "cash for ass." I was like, huh. "What the fuck?" Wow, that's pretty direct. You know, <laughs> I wonder if those are like secretly undercover cops. So if you actually give them money, they can arrest you. Um, mm. Yeah, I technically maybe, yeah. You're like right. I'm like super paranoid about everything because I've been watching and listening to a what lot. Isn't of that entrapment stuff? on a yeah, on, en- a, on a public? That's entrapment. They have to show that they're police on a public pay- paid type of site. Hmm. Hmm. Not unless the person is acting as a conduit. Well, first off, you should always ask if they're a cop. That's but what a, if the person's not a cop and then you meet them, but it's like a sting, right? They have to tell you if they're a cop. So these cops but the are... the person so that you're talking co- to so isn't wait, a cop. It's so you're telling actor. me these cops are steaming, stinging motherfuckers so for $25 wait, wait. transactions? <laughs> you never know, boo. You never know. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn. 
twenty five dollars. Can, can they get even a, charge me with any game? Can I can just be like, dude, I just give it her money to eat. <laughs> <laughs> she it's a gift. she it's seemed a gift. hungry. She was going through some tough times. She told me she needed the cash, bro. I'm just a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, the blowjob came after I gave her <laughs> the money, uh, or came before. Before oh. you want before you want I before came, I came before. <laughs> right. Oh, hi. Right. But uh, yeah. Anyways, Foo, this reminds me of this story. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Another one of your woes? Not my oh. woes, but a woe of many, many frustrated gentlemen, I, I assure you. Uh-huh. Uh, this chick, um, I forget where she's from, uh, LA, New York or something. She's ha- she was having like multiple boyfriends, and she was like a really hot chick. And she was having her boyfriends buy her iPhones. Uh-huh. And she would have some of her boyfriends buy her multiple iPhones. What, what she was really doing is reselling the iPhones. Oh. And she resold ab- over like 70 something iPhones. What the oh. fuck? Yeah, so she got money for a down payment for a house. <laughs> and she what? bought a house. What the fuck? Wow. See, Steph, that's what you should have done. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she took the long no harder out, but yeah. she's here, man. <laughs> too many guys, too many lies. <laughs> I yeah, guess it dude. was long and so hard for her, huh? She, yeah, uh, I don't know how much she slanged them each. Because you know, that, what are they worth? Like over a thousand? They're grand easy. So she's pretty hot. I'm pretty sure she could have at least got 80%. Jeez. So, dude, that times 70 iPhones. That's fifty six thousand dollars, dude. Yeah, that's a total down payment on that. And and I think she's like an actual chick with like a career and shit. Okay, not just a moocher. Yeah, so she just decided to do this. She just conned a bunch of dudes out of fifty six thousand dollars. Yeah, to get a house, dude. I mean, I'm pretty sure she had to put out a couple times. Damn, I really need to rethink my life. Respect, (laughs) fucking up, Steph. (laughs) Fucking up. (laughs) You chose. You chose. (laughs) Poorly. <laughs> you have chosen unwisely. Yeah, man. Crazy oh, stuff man. going on. Dude, dating in 2019, man. It's insane. Yeah, That's lo- why I don't do it. Well, I look forward to the next woes of online dating. Not I, sir. Uh, <laughs> so sad. How do I follow that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I know, man. <laughs> uh, well, let's get into some nerd news, shall we? <laughs> Well, Nerd News is brought to you by Amazon. Do you shop on Amazon? Would you like to support the show? Go to foobarshow.com. That's F-O-O-B-A-S-H-O-W.com. At the bottom of the homepage, just click on the Amazon banner, bookmark it on your browser, and do your regular Amazon shopping from there. doesn't cost you anything, and you're supporting the show. Yeah. Well, Foo, I heard you guys saw Aquaman this weekend. Yeah, Steph and I yeah, saw Aquaman. Yeah. Um, it's a boot team. Yeah, uh, we were a week late, but you know what? We enjoyed well, the shit better, out of better it. Better late than never, man. Yeah, better uh, yeah. Late than never. So, what is what's your overall what your, grade there? Was I thought one of your it was good. Parts. If I'm gonna give it a grade, I'd say it's uh, it's a B. Yeah, it's okay. a B. It's a good movie. Yeah, and like there's just those 80? couple of moments, right, where you know it's there's Jason a couple Momoa. moments where it's just like, all right, you it's know, a little uh, cheesy, but then but that then it's like, a little stiff. Sometimes at some yeah at some parts you could tell like uh, was it the Black Manta yeah yeah that's I, really I didn't, I didn't like see his sequences. Thing. that's that's what was wrong with it is mostly his his parts because yeah. it felt forced yeah but it was a good backstory it's just like I don't know the actor didn't I didn't believe it, it. yeah, yeah. I, he, I don't think he sold it well enough you could tell they just threw that shit in there the the rest though Patrick Wilson I mean you guys gotta agree he was pretty goddamn oh, good at Ocean yes. Master yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was, he, yeah, he was, he was perfect sick. as Ocean Master. He was such a dick, dude. Seriously, he plays an asshole so well. <laughs> yeah, like you know those guys that you just they just play assholes. Like yeah. what's his face, Alan Rickman when he played Snape, and yeah. uh, right. you know from um, what the hell's his name from Die Hard, like. He, oh yeah, yeah. Hans Gruber, Hans, the guy Hans, Hans, Gruber. Yeah, Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber. He just has that villain face, but mm-hmm. it's like you know it, he's just so good. Yeah, it was great, man. Um, actually, you know what if. It already passed the $1 billion mark. Jesus. Yeah. In just yeah. three weeks, dude, it made over a billion dollars worldwide. Um, this movie's just insane. You know, James Wan did a great job with it. You know, that trench scene. Did you guys like that? When oh, the, my God. How it was so scary. It was? scary. Dude, that was, yeah, was crazy. That shit was dope, though, huh? Yeah, it was pretty good. They pulled the whole Ant-Man thing? Yeah. 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 And, then when he, uh, and then when he meets that big monster, that big sea monster, that the was or that Kraken thing. That was right. that was nuts. Yeah, it was a great movie. I mean, we only have 
you know, better things to look forward to. Hopefully, DC continues to let these directors have more artistic freedom. Like I how hope Juan. so, because we got off to a really bad start. And I think I need to reintroduce myself to you, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of how I uh, feel about DC movies. They're in the right... They're doing the right thing so far. Mm -hmm. We'll see with Shazam. Um, I actually heard a little uh, snippet recently um, through comicbook.com. You guys could look it up. That Shazam actually unveiled that there's going to be um, more villains involved rather than just Dr. Savannah. Oh, so it's actually they're actually going to be going. He's actually going to be going up against the seven deadly sins. So they're actually the living embodiment of each seven deadly sin, uh-huh. like greed, lust, envy, yeah. sloth. Like so, and each uh, from what they said is um, pretty much the wizard uh, Shazam is going after him because these seven deadly sins have attacked all his disciples. Oh, and he needs nice. a he needs a mortal um, to help fight them. Mm-hmm. So that's how it starts. So. It's they they said the new trailer is going to be coming out probably uh, like in March, okay. Um, probably okay. maybe even Super Bowl. Just keep an eye on Super Bowl because for sure is going to probably come. Yeah, out. It'll, or at least it'll, it'll if it doesn't premiere there, they're definitely going to show it. They're going to show it. Yeah. When we were watching Aquaman, there were trailer after trailer of every single movie I wanted to watch: the new Men in Black International, oh, right. Hellboy, Hellboy um, the good. Shazam trailer. Oh my god! Did they show Godzilla for you guys? The Godzilla no. one? No. Oh yeah, we saw oh the Godzilla god. one. Oh dude, King but I've Ghidorah. Seen it. I've seen it on did, online. Yeah. 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 No, but when you see it on the screen, dude, King yeah, Ghidorah's huge, right? head. Oh dude, <laughs> he looks so sick. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to see what they do with that. Um, but you know what? Marvel's still, you know, top dog right now, and. With the expectation of X Men, Fantastic Four, and the rest of their portfolio officially coming back, yeah. with the exception of Spider Man, um, they're looking to do some pretty great things. Um, Kevin Feige actually addressed uh, finally getting X Men and Marvel, mm-hmm. and uh, this is what he said um, while talking to uh, while talking at the you know Golden Globes this past Sunday at MTV News. He um, he said the truth is I'm excited for all of them. I'm excited, and it's not just the marquee names, you know. The, there are hundreds of names on those documents and those agreements. Um, pretty much, they're gonna pr- they're gonna finally officially get back Deadpool, X Men, Fantastic Four, um, and Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, actually said in uh, August that um, they're also going to be acquiring James Cameron's Avatar. Dang! Yeah, yeah. So that's why in Disney the World, fuck? they actually have an Avatar world in oh, Disney World. Wow, because they were anticipating They're this? pretty much anticipating it. And so they needed a place to put it um, since Fox didn't really have it. And they don't really have a right. theme park. So that's why they allowed a, uh, Disney to license it for mm. their whole park. And then now, dude, they don't even have to worry about it. They're probably going to add it here in Disneyland. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, wow. So the only thing they just need is the Spider-Man franchise back. But... You know, their little partnership they got going on right now is not bad. Like, especially Homecoming was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but, you know, speaking of Disneyland, do you guys hear that they're going to be raising their prices? Yeah. Foo, weren't you talking oh, about what's this? what's new? They, uh, they raised their prices about 25%. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, it was like, already expensive to go to Disneyland like, as a, it is. A basic, a basic annual pass mm-hmm. went from, like, 900-something to, like, 1,300. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, just to go for a one day pass, park hopper, um, it's one hundred and fifty dollars a person. Are they trying not to have people? Go? Uh, be, well, because now they uh, they just announced that that Disneyland South uh, Star Wars Land is officially going to open this summer. So that's why they're hiking up the price. Yeah, the, the price is going to be there for sure. Yeah, because everyone's going to want to go see Star Wars, especially all the Star Wars nerds here around here. Yeah, like. The fanboys are going to go in droves. They don't give a shit what they're paying. If they can be on the goddamn Millennium Falcon, they'll pay to For be the, on the goddamn Millennium Falcon. be Falcon. one of the first ones to be on the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, you they're know, gonna pe- the people are going to pay. You them, man. It's fucking yeah. like, crazy. Disney is a brand that will never die. Like it won't. Like yeah. kids constantly go to it, mm-hmm. and people just pay. Adults for it. go to it. Seriously, adults go to it all like often. Yeah, it's like crazy. It, it, there's there are adults that have 
passes before their kids have passes. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. They make it part of their, like, annual budget. You know, and I, yeah. I, I can attest that I, <laughs> I've had a pass at one point, you know, at one time or another. And it was fun to go. But then it just got to a point where it's like, dude, do I really want to fucking wait in these lines all goddamn day? Yeah. Hear these kids scream all goddamn yeah. day. Like, no. Steph and I went many years ago. What was it, like four or five years ago? And I think yeah. we made the mistake of going during Christmas time. We went oh, the first no. day. And it's all strollers. That, yes. Everywhere. Yeah, we, yes. Went, we went the first day that they switched over to all the Christmas decorations. That's right. yeah. yeah. And it was just nothing but strollers. And we're over here, like, bobbing and weaving. I'm just like, I'm trying to get in this line. I can't like, enjoy Moon Disneyland lady. that way, no. man. When I'm just trying not to, like, trip over a stroller. I shit you not. Like, they were everywhere. You have to go, like, on no a Tuesday space. or Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Like, when I, uh, I realized when I would go frequently, you'd yeah. have to go on a Tuesday or Wednesday because people wouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. Like, especially if you got, like, a day off to go. Like, it was actually pretty chill up until, like, 4 o'clock when everyone all of a sudden decided to fucking show up at Disneyland. That's true, yeah. So I actually ran into uh, Drake Bell one time. What the fuck? Yeah, from Drake and Josh. <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm walking. I was with my ex at the time, and I'm just like, hey, hey, I I think that's I think that's Drake. She's like, no, it's not. I'm just like, I'm gonna go say something. She's like, no, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Stay here. I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm gonna go say something. So I'm like, hey, are you Drake? She's like, yeah, man. How's it going? I was like, dude, I like your show. <laughs> <laughs> He's all, thanks, man. I'm all, you're cool, Spider Man's voice. He's all, thanks, man. Enjoy. <laughs> She's like, you need to ask for a picture or nothing? I'm like, no picture needed. Just need the interaction. There you go. <laughs> I just made that guy's day by being so weird. Yeah, and awkwardly nice. <laughs> oh, I was high as fuck, too. Right? Oh, okay. yeah, so. <laughs> That's the only way to enjoy it. I would always go with my pen. And I would, mm-hmm. uh, like, back, you know, back in the day when we would shovel the, crown, the uh, wax yes. into the pens? I yeah, would take this it to generation the, will never they'll understand. They'll never understand oh that. God. How we getting, had a dab. getting the bu- the buddy pen <laughs> and having your dabs with you at all times mm-hmm. with the little spoon. like two hits and you got to reload. And you're <laughs> and like, you what are we doing, oh, yeah. man? Dude, I was. It's like, it's, it's, it's like we're looking back to uh, revolutionary times yeah. and the muskets where you have to reload. Gotta reload. Yeah, you got to give me like fucking forty five seconds, reload. bro. Reload. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I would have like my. Ex, and you're looking like, at the shot for, straight, dude. For real. Sometimes it, I would be like sitting there. I'm like, why isn't it going down? Yeah. You all of a sudden pick it up and you got to push it back down oh, yeah. again. Oh. Then the pick gets. Oh, it's all terrible. It's, Just, it was a thing. It, it was, was a the whole thing. thing. It was a thing, man. It was a thing. <laughs> But those were good times. Good times at Disneyland. <laughs> well, Foo, Walking Dead is like, coming back. All right. <laughs> it's like we can't stop talking. It's like Walking Dead has an off season. Like, it, 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 sh- it should have had like a draft by now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Walking Dead's looking at their upcoming players. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think the Andr- the Alexandrians are really going to take it this year. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. The Hilltop looks very susceptible. <laughs> that front line. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I could see that. Right? I mean, exactly. dude, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Play by play on the field. Make, well, look at that walker there. Oh, it's running I'm right Jesus up to the. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got Jesus. Oh, oh Lord, they got Jesus. They got Jesus, Jesus is down. Jesus Coming up is after down. the break. <laughs> Come right up after the break. <laughs> We're going to see some crazy ass shit with some walkers killing Jesus, stabbing them in the chest. You know, they like, announce they're going to kill Jesus after they kill Jesus? After they kill... You know, he comes back, man. <laughs> and and well, it's not even Easter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, dude, that's who we're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> well, everyone's kind of... I don't know if you guys have been wondering what they're going to do with Rick. You know, with these movies. Well, you up. know, uh, I think we're we've gotten some hints that they're they're gonna they're gonna make some movies with them. Yeah, they'll expand that universe. Yeah, but a lot of people have been wondering, like, what kind of movies is it gonna be? Is it gonna be right. like um, all of a sudden global operation? They meet the fucking president. Listen here, Rick. We need your zombie killing expertise and your farming, <laughs> and we need, we need to save the world. Yeah. Um, well, actually, Andrew Lincoln. Um, Said exactly we, that. No, <laughs> <laughs> we recently talked to EW, um, and this is coming from comicbook.com, and he's actually saying that the upcoming movies are going to be more of a gunslinger motif. Oh, so interesting. Nice. They said, if you've seen the beginning, there's a pig farm, and he falls over in the stall. He's chasing pigs, and you go, wait a minute, this is a gunslinger. 
the most badass gunslinger ever, and he's covered in the excrement. But you know what he's capable of because, you know, he's Clint Eastwood. You've seen other movies and him being a man with no name. This is what it's going to be like. This is the starting point. He's like, I'd like that as a starting point for this movie. So he's going to do, they're thinking about doing something similar. Hmm. I would, I think that would fit, you know, especially how Rick used to be. Yeah. Just, wheel, you know, just slinging that gun everywhere. So I, I think that would be dope. But if he's like in Ireland, imagine drinking a nice bottle of whiskey. Damn. Yeah. I mean, it's all over the world. Who so. knows, man? You Who think knows? they're going to do like a world type of thing, world domination type of thing like that? I hope they at and least explore Because they're just going to fucking fail. Well, I hope that there's still technology to be utilized in a way where you're able to broadcast what's happening like from across the pond or something. Um, you know, mate, like if, if you get to that big government level, which, you know, like a cer- to a certain degree, they live, you know, and they're still out there probably. And I don't know if they have the power to run shit, but they have these resources where they might be able to still be able to connect with le- uh, world leaders from across the, the ocean and, and talk that way and just kind of know what's going on, but not have any means to actually get there. Yeah. I mean, didn't they? Did they ever allude to what happened to the government in the first season? Remember when they went to the CDC? That's as far as we got, I think, with any kind of government talk in regards to like who might still be alive. Because the guy said he just went dark, right? Everyone, yeah. everything just everything, went dark, yeah, and he was dark. And, went dark, yeah. and he was supposed to be the guy that's supposed to find the cure or something. It's because yeah. this happened during a government shutdown. So the time is nigh. Um, oh, man. If die. it was going to happen, it's going to be right now. Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't wait to see what they do. Um, I, they said uh, in the upcoming season two, in uh, season 9B, the second half, it's going to be a little different, but the whispers are going to fuck shit up. Yeah. And you're going to see some creepy shit. Like yeah. this guy, Beta, um, played by Ryan Hurst. Uh huh. He's going to be like a fucking nightmare for them in Alexandria and everywhere. Because, dude, imagine Shaq being one of these guys, a whisperer. Yeah, he's so huge. Much. He's supposed to be Shaq huge in his prime. In his prime yeah. Like wearing a freaking zombie mask and just taking motherfuckers out. Jeez. That's what this guy looks like. The whispers was the creepiest uh, story of The Walking Dead. Yeah. It, I heard- it was so creepy. Just I was just remember reading it. It was like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, they see this it'll give me a different reason to tune in to see The Walking Dead because lately I've just been watching it because I'm loyal. Um, but now I'm, if I'm watching it, I expect to be frightened or like like the earlier season. Yeah, you want it to be you like know? how it used to be, you know, where yeah. you're actually terrified when all of a sudden a zombie just fucking right. pops out. You're like, dude, how the fuck is he gonna make it out? <laughs> He's just in a fucking robe. Yep. He's assless. He's got his ass out and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna bite him in his dick. Yep. <laughs> straight up dick bite. Straight, oh, oh, so bad. Just like it happened to Dwight. The dick Just, bites. Uh, the dick bites. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. Well, <laughs> you know, there's other shows coming out too. I know uh, we're all excited for Shane, Stranger Things three. Oh. We are. Oh, I am. am I supposed to be yes. happy about that? Were you not happy with Stranger Things two? Listen, man. Only the one episode. I had what some. Episode? I had some issues with Stranger Things too. Uh, there were some weird things happening. Like, what was the whole thing with the kid and then the the mom? Uh, they were just kind of flirty, but nothing ever happened. Uh, like, there was just some unnecessary things that were, I guess, supposed to lighten up the mood, and it wasn't. It wasn't the thing. And then they killed. What's his name? Bob. His oh name Bob. yeah, oh. Bob. Everybody liked Bob. Samwise Gamgee. Bob. Yeah, that was. Dude, that was heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> that was heartbreaking. When I saw Bob die, I'm just like, Bob! No! I, was in the, I was in the room by myself. And then, oh, <laughs> I think one of you guys came home. And I'm just like, Bob! And you're like, oh, no, you saw it? I'm like, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Yeah. <laughs> well, they actually released the upcoming trailer, like a teaser trailer, almost, for the next one coming up. Mm-hmm. And it's actually in the trailer. It shows, like, 4th of July. And then it says 4th of July, 1989. And then all of a sudden, the clock just rolls and it says 4th of July, uh, 2019. So season three will be premiering on Netflix 4th of July, 2019. Oh, crazy. And, oh, so um, they're not doing an October release date this no, time. No, no. This time it's going to be... Um, 30 years in the past. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. No, they just show that they're speeding up to release date soon. But it's going to take place July 4th. 
1989. 30 years in the past. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Phil. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, in the... You guys can look up the um, little weird trailer. Uh, actually, it even shows, like, their poster. Mm-hmm. Like, in the background, it shows, like, a bunch of fireworks going off. Eleven and Mike are holding hands. Uh-huh. And then, all of a sudden, you see underneath Stranger Things, this weird, like, almost crab-like, like, a bunch of legs and monsters coming out. Wow. Yeah. So are, are you, these are supposed to be coming th- from the upside down, right? These are the creatures kind of emerging from that? Yeah, another another new creature emerging from the upside down. Interesting. So I remember at the end of season two, remember the shadow was still there? Yeah. So it may still be trying to come back. So everyone's just trying to figure out what it really means. Mm-hmm. Um, like there's little uh, clues. Like yeah, there's like a bunch of like... Uh, Weird numbers, like green numbers, like almost matrix-like, like yeah. coming up. And someone took a screenshot, and in the screenshot, um, someone said, uh, "So this is coming from Mick Crazy at Mick Crazy sixteen on Twitter." Mm-hmm. They said, "At Stranger Things could be a co- coincidence, but in the poster, Mike and Eleven are wearing blue and yellow shirts, and this says when blue and yellow meet in the West." And someone said, "You playing games with me, and I don't like it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it says it like it just hidden in there like almost deciphered like when blue and yellow meet in the west huh. so it may even take place somewhere in the west side yeah west side <laughs> yeah so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens with that foo did you catch any of the golden globes this weekend no i didn't even know they were on <laughs> wow, I'm man. I'm not even going to lie to you. I, but foo. But foo, why? why? I don't know. Why? Stay well, in what, touch. What, was, what was supposed to be so exciting about it? Well, I mean, if anything, it's the only award show where everybody just gets shit faced right, and anything right. can happen. Wasn't Andy Sandberg supposed to be like hosting it? It was Andy Sandberg and, and Sandra, Sandra Oh. They were pretty good. Okay, they weren't good. that bad. They would like, uh, <laughs> they would brag about themselves mm-hmm. but almost like in a shit talking way okay yeah and then um sandra oh actually won uh for one of her shows that she's okay. in right now um nice. but christian bale actually won for um his role in vice yeah best role for the best role yeah he was dick cheney role. right he was dick cheney and so um during his acceptance speech um he actually thanked satan <laughs> So, this is what he said after winning for Best Actor, Musical, or Comedy. Thank you to Satan for giving me inspiration for playing this role. The Batman star said to laugh during his acceptance speech. And then Bale offered praise to McKay and he remarked, He said, I have to find somebody that can be absolutely charisma-free and reviled by everybody. So, he wanted Christian Bale. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and then so everyone was laughing um i know fox news they were upset about it and said something i don't i didn't really pay attention okay uh, but <laughs> um it turns out the church of satan decided to uh oh, God. <laughs> to respond. Oh, right. oh, one of these <laughs> so so this is what the church of satan said <laughs> and i'm not this is not a joke the church of satan people okay. church of satan to us, Satan is a symbol of pride, liberty, and individualism, and it serves as an external metaphor, project, metaphorical projection of our highest personal potential. As Mr. Bale's own talent and skill won him the award, this is fitting. Hail Christian, hail Satan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then they followed up, and wow. they followed up with another post <laughs> on a comment, and they put also Bale's Dark Knight era Batman. Is the best Batman ever, and in the <laughs> bottom it's the picture where it's uh, him holding up Falcone. <laughs> He's like, "I'm Batman." <laughs> oh goddamn! Oh, oh man, he. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah, he, uh, Christian Bale wins everything. He's he's a goddamn he's a goddamn he's, saint. He's a, he's a delight. <laughs> uh, all hail Christian Bale. All hail Satan. Oh, oh, <laughs> That's it for me in Nerd News Food. Thanks, man. Nerd! Well, I guess for, for, episode, for episode 69, man, you're going to hail Satan. 69! Oh, well, yeah, man, that's Satan's number. Well, uh, here's Sexy episode number. 69's joint report. Are you on Wii? 
Give me some, I'll smoke you two under the table. It's from the bomb. Well, it finally came out. I saw this article on Forbes.com that the Surgeon General finally believes that it's high time for marijuana reclassification. Gasp. Yeah. In uh, Spanish. About time. <laughs> it's about fucking time, right? Uh, but, you know, I guess he if, if anybody was going to say it in a way where, like, somebody in, in, in the federal level would listen, the Surgeon General should be one of the people to say, hey, we really kind of need to study this for a medical purpose. Isn't Ben Carson our Surgeon General? No, no, no. Ben Carson's something else. He's, like, for he housing. Was, he was... I think he was a practicing surgeon. Yeah, he's a oh, surgeon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But he's not the yeah. surgeon general. <laughs> I was yeah. just Go really figure. high when I heard he was in the cabinet. Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what he's advocating. Okay. Uh, he's not advocating for um, recreational use, but he's he's doing it in a way where it can be studied because if it, because it's schedule 1 drug it can't be studied. Yeah. You they, we just you can't have it in the borders no matter what. Uh-huh. Uh but if they take it off that schedule 1, they can at least study it for medical purposes which he says, you know, can be used for like uh for pain symptoms and things like that. They can so essentially get federal fucking funding for it if yeah, it's yeah, schedule exactly. 1. So essentially they would make a uh, weed legal medically. Uh, yeah. Federally, should, on a federal, on a federal level. level. Yeah. Okay. I which, mean, that's a good compromise. Yeah, take which is good because a, a lot of people are missing out from the treatments that it can provide. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, at least if they do that, I mean, that's a, again, that's a nice compromise. Mm-hmm. Compromise, people. Compromise. The yeah. Surgeon General yeah. is Jerome Adams, who was sworn in in 2017. Oh, well, there you go. Jerome His motto Adams. is better health through better partnerships. Oh. So, and their term is four years. Oh, all right. So there you go. Thanks, Steph. You're welcome. <laughs> so when is he planning on getting this off schedule one food? Well, uh, he's working on it. There's no date that was provided uh, on this article, uh-huh. but um, he's talking about it. Uh, he, I'm sure he plans to present it the first opportunity he gets so that um, maybe a compromise can be reached at the federal level. At least And the current administration has already been talking about having the conversation enter the Oval Office. Uh-huh. Okay. So, I mean, at least, you know, there's, there's people in power right now that are already ha- kind of trying to have the conversation. If I can't tax it, I don't want it. Yeah. Well, we're okay with that as citizens. <laughs> just to make it move. Just to move the fucking needle. That's kind of been the platform this whole time for the last 10 Be years. Be careful what you wish for. I know, man. I know. But, but I mean, yeah, you're right. Up, it's going to end up being like the worst quality weed ever. It really yeah, should. No kidding. Yeah. It's like Go watered. It yeah, shouldn't be a schedule one drug. No. No. If I can grow it in my backyard by just casually watering it from time to time, it's, you know, it should be legal. It's just the weed. Wait, can you grow your own cocaine? No. Uh, well, then never mind. No. Cocaine. Con- continue. <laughs> well, no, that's all I got for it. And I just wanted to see what you guys thought about that. And um, I think at what point should... Do you think this baby step is required? Or should we try to grab the whole thing at once by voting it in in the next election? Honestly, I think there should be a baby step involved. Just because of how... Our nation reacts very quickly. I mean, all the pundits get all, yeah, yeah, they They, get pretty crazy with the the subject. Yeah, you do. They couldn't even confirm a goddamn judge into the Supreme Court easily. It took them almost a month to do it. What makes this, it's going to be a slow process. And I think it has to be a slow build in order to get everyone on board. I blame Florida. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, I mean, they're the penis Blame of Florida. America. They're always fucking up. How come they can never get a good, like, election going? Because, man, they're just sticking that dick anywhere they want. <laughs> and it, you know what, man? When you stick it anywhere, you come out with something. Yeah. It's just gonna That's happen. True. Fucking Florida. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, well, man. I mean, what a metaphor. It's Florida. What are you going to do, huh? <laughs> Well, that's all I have for the joint report today, everyone. Smoke weed every day. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. Uh, Shvetty. Shvetty. Do you think Shvetty any bump. of those... Uh, Pop-up museums will open up now that uh, you're allowed to smoke weed in a museum. You are? What? Yeah. and uh, That won't like damage the artwork or anything like that? Foo, foo, foo. It'll foo. help you enjoy it. <laughs> well, yeah. Let him finish. Okay. Uh, well, damn, this should have been part of the drum port. But, well, one of the new laws passed is that uh, you can now smoke marijuana, consume it inside of a dedicated museum, uh, lounge, or nightclub. <laughs> Oh, so 
this is just really opening up more opportunity for like people to be like, let's do a fucking business idea where we can allow people to smoke in the lounge. Right, but that's only if they allow smoking in the building in the first place. Which, if it's a museum, why? I don't think they will. No, they won't. Listen, Like, there's probably designated areas outside of the museum. No, listen. Listen, goddammit. No, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. Okay, a fucking... (laughs) Okay, okay, I'm sorry, fine. The museum... the museums downtown are going to be like, yeah, spark up that joint while you ne- walk st- next to the Brea Tar Pit. Okay. No. Oh, wait. No. Okay. No. Continue. Throw your match in the pit. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> dude. Dude, yeah. be like lava with dude, Tommy Lee Jones. You might cause the San Andreas <laughs> Fault to erupt, dude. Oh, yeah, LA would just stink for like a week. Oh. Oh. Um, Burning tires. They're passing this. So you remember the ice cream, uh, Museum of Ice Cream and... A happy, happy place, mu- the were, happy museum, the yeah. happy museum. These like pop up museums. Okay, no, you, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably saw the museum of ice cream on Instagram and such. Yeah, all those people having fun while I sat here at home watching yeah. my phone. <laughs> well, well, the, well, I think what I think they're gonna do is because the, the those were museums technically, oh, so they're gonna allow okay. people to smoke weed at these pop up museums. Yeah. So. Dude, entrepreneurs can be like, I'm going to open up a 420 Arts District Museum where you can just fucking puff it in there. I mean, why not? You'd make a ton of money. Do they have yeah, rooms for true. rent? Rooms <laughs> for rent. <laughs> well, no, oh, think man. about it. I, I will pay if, half of the lease. If you if you guys, if you we were going to go to a... Mer- and it could be like real, like legit stuff there okay. too. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, imagine us paying like 40 bucks to get in. <gasps> but while we walk around, we could like smoke J's and stuff. <gasps> Yeah, Gasp. that'd be dope. Gasp in Spanish. Gasp in Spanish. Sacre <laughs> 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 I mean, That's fresh. That's really what the uh, what the aim of these whoops. laws are to uh-huh. help like kind of open new industry avenues. Same thing with the lounges now. See, there can be fucking smoking lounge. There can finally be legit hash bars now, dude. Wow. See, businesses are finally understanding that us potheads should not have money. So let's allow them to smoke I wherever mean, they, they want. Take, they can and take spend it. all the money they want. Let them all have it. All the let money. Them, let them have it. Let them have it. Just let me smoke. So food, it's only a matter of time before we hit up a museum downtown. You yes. let them smoke. Let's they do it, man. Let's go to a museum downtown. And then let's fucking <laughs> get, get a group on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll, walk, then we'll walk down fucking uh, Kershing Square like yeah. last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the blistering heat. Dope. <laughs> Well, thanks, Foo. Smoke weed every day. Okay, okay. You're twisting my arm. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. In Iowa, at their fair, they had fried butter. Damn. Okay, how big is this butter? Is it like a whole stick? It's a whole stick. Oh, buddy, oh you're my bread. God. Just breaded butter? Oh, Jesus gross, Christ. dude. Would you you try? I would try it. Actually, you know what? I would try it. I remember seeing that at the uh, Minnesota State Fair when Carl, when we went. When Carl lived up there, they had that. They had like maple bacon, dude. The bacon strip was like this thick and this long. Okay, that's a pork chop, dude. Seriously, it's just a pork, a giant thin pork chop on a stick with maple with maple syrup. Who do you it. like? Ambrosia salad. And they had cheese Love curds. It. Really? We wow. just like fried cheese. Yeah, well, in like a, and yeah. They're saying it's Alaska's worst food. Ambrosia salad. Well, if that's their worst food, then. They're doing okay job. They're doing a pretty great. <laughs> well, the music highlights. I want to rock. Well, eargasm. Eargasm high fidelity earplugs already trusted by 100,000 customers and growing. Enjoy your favorite activities without worrying about damage to your ears. Keep the noise to a minimum, but still hear people talking and hear music with clarity. Discreet design, and it comes with a lightweight aluminum case for easy transport. Click through the banner at foobarshow.com to get yours and help support the show. Eargasm. Put it in your ear. Put it in your ear. (laughs) Well. Today, guys, on our 69th episode, I figured uh, <laughs> let, let's get some let's get some funk, let's get some horns. Oh, so I, I wanted to talk funk, about nothing but the funk and all the funk. Well, not all of it. Oh, but this one is probably one of the newer funkier songs that I've enjoyed. In fact, I've seen these guys live, and they're entertaining as fuck. 
I'm they, listening. So this, uh, you've heard this song, trust me. It's it's called How You Like Me Now by uh, the English rock band The Heavy. Yeah, it yeah. was released as the third single from their second studio album, The House That Dirt Built, in August 2009. The song samples Let a Woman Be a Woman by Dyke and the Blazers. And um, uh, the song has been used in media several times. And it's been on the Billboard Hot 100 for like 122 times. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. It peaked at number 122 on the Billboard Hot 100. Oh, Woo! I was about to say, you're yeah. a liar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's that's a lot of times. <laughs> it's like consecutive days or what? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. But, Foo, I know you don't know anything about anything, but you've heard this song. <laughs> so check it out. In car commercials and movies, Everything, that thing's dude. been everywhere. It's catchy as fuck. Mm-hmm. It's oh, been... that is in car commercials. Wow! Wow! Oh. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, if if you didn't know who it was by, it was by a band called The Heavy. The Heavy. That's right. That's right. This next song that I wanted to uh, bring up today is a song by a ska band. Uh, it's called uh, Say Goodnight by the Voodoo Glow Skulls. Are you familiar with the Voodoo uh, Glow Skulls, there, Josh? Oh, am I familiar? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, it, it's it, they're nothing new. They've been around for some time now, over 10 years. In fact, uh, this song, Say Goodnight, is the second song off of their symbo- uh, symbolic album that came out in September of 2000 on Epitaph Records. Epitaph. Yeah. So uh, the album marks the last appearance of the creator of the VGS horn style. His name was Helios J. Hernandez. Um, it, it's a specific type of horn style that that is played, uh, and you'll hear it in the song. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll just I'll go ahead and play it, and you guys can check it out. Epitaph. See how the horns just keep going? And it's a combination of the trombone, a trumpet, it's probably a sax in there too. And they're all playing, they're all very in sync with each other and very staccato. So, like as if they're trying to do ska. Yeah, yeah, but the guy invented the style. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. It's it's the last appearance that he made on an album. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, man. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Voodoo Glow Skulls are very good, very entertaining band. If you have a chance to see them, assuming they're still um, doing the th- their thing, uh, I suggest that you go check it out because they're pretty, pretty cool. I mean, uh, all the videos that you would see online too, if you just YouTube them, they're full of energy, man. They're so fun to watch. The mosh pits that in, like in front of them too. The Voodoo Skulls. Voodoo Glow Skulls. Voodoo gl- glow Skulls. Glow Skulls. I'm not gonna glow, remember all that. Glow. <laughs> glow. You're gonna need to write that down. Put it up on a post to us. Something. Glow. <laughs> glow. Well, this uh, next one is a band called Wolfbeck. They're an American funk group founded in 2011. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Wolfbeck in the car. 
uh, because they are the original uh, members of the other band that I brought up many episodes ago. Um, the flight. What was the the fight of the, uh, the one armed, one eyed, flying purple people eaters? <laughs> <laughs> the purple shirt ice stabber, dude. <laughs> the purple shirt ice stabber. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I don't know, man. It has flyers in the name. Yeah, uh, the Fearless Flyers. Fearless Jesus Christ. Flyers. flyers. Oh, my there you God. There go. See? Yeah, Ooh, just, that took a while. Yeah, just yeah, off yeah, by yeah. a hair. <laughs> Restrict by that much. But um, the, the Fearless Flyers has members of Wolfpack. Okay. So, that's, okay. uh, so Wolfpack is kind of like the original is it, band. Is it Wolfpack or Wolfpack? Wolfpack. V-U-L-F-P-E-C-K. But oh, I think Wolfpack. it's pronounced Wolfpack. with a W. Like wolf, a wolf pack? Wolf, like wolf pack. Wolf, wolf pack. Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Play the goddamn song, man. <laughs> so this song... <laughs> They um so they by by this point they they've released four EPs uh four albums and a silent album on Spotify titled oh. Sleepify a silent album it was yeah. just dead noise the entire time yeah. it's dead crazy dead so um <laughs> <laughs> this it's song is called everyone. Back Pocket it came out uh, back in 2015 check it out it came out of their back pocket. This song was actually used as a soundtrack of the commercial for the iPhone X. Wow. Yeah, dude. So, uh, so they sold out. So they sold out? No. no they, they have some notoriety now. I mean, you don't sell out anymore. No, no. You, you no get what thing. you can get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These days. Some, like sexual in the windows. Oh, Put yeah. In my back pocket. For episode 69, yo. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I recommend you guys check them out. Uh, their their whole their music is very much like this. Their bassists, uh, the bassist Joe, he is very talented. He is very fun to watch too. And if you watch any of the um, the videos for the Fearless Flyers, mm-hmm. he like he makes his body like super stiff, and the only thing that's moving is his <laughs> head like a bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> like up and down it's just yeah and that's just kind of like a sound and the way he plays but he really feels the groove and then the guitarists really kind of fill in that funk oh man funk music's just underrated in general funk music yeah funk, funk music is amazing mm-hmm. i could just listen to that shit all day here have you ever listened to brazilian funk no what's that like it is it is interesting is it like aggressive or, or like how, or is it's, it still has a groove about it? It still has a groove about it, but it's like a little slightly fast paced. Okay. Like just, just has a slight fast pace to it. It's like a mix of like a, almost like, um, merengue uh-huh. mixed in with funk. Interesting. It's like a merengue funk. It's really interesting. Yeah. Right Carl showed me a few songs. I'll see if I can find some. Cool. Cool. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Well, Good shit, man. Yeah, man. Well, that's going to do it for another show. Uh, episode 69, guys. We did it. 69. So we dirty. fucking did it. <laughs> Ooh, we did it. So, Foos, uh, since I have you both in one room. Uh, so well, Wait a minute. Th- Where's this, this going? This whole um, this whole sports uh, podcast <laughs> oh. that we've heard so much about in 2018. Um, we're people tra- are asking questions, we're, man. We're building the anticipation, man. We wanna yeah, man. There needs creating to be, buzz. There needs creating to be buzz. good sports going on, man. What's going on in sports? Actually, there's a lot going on right yeah. now. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I Lakers, heard there was a whole lot going on. Lakers that, that are I'm on missing a out on. I know, Foo? man. I know. Foo, it's called a telephone browser. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can discuss this off air. Don't you dare put us on the spot, you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker, you. Douche. Don't make me go out Joe Pesci on you, you motherfucker, you. Thank you all very much for listening to the Food Bar Show. Thank you for downloading the pod of most major podcast apps, subscribing, and telling a friend like a champ. You can always reach us at Food Bar Show. That's FWOBarshow.com. And FWOBarshow is our handle on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out. Drop us a line, and we'll fill it up like a couple of foods. 
I've been Josie. And I'm Joe Pesci, you motherfucker, you. <laughs> and for Steph and the Foo signing off saying, don't be a dick.